Go, go, go. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are working on Project uh, No Name. I haven't given her a name yet. I don't know what I want to call her. You guys gave me some really good ideas in the last video. Drop some more down below today. None of them really just clicked, okay? I haven't read through all of them, but none of them really just clicked. So comment down below, what should we call her? She's not 3 no more, so Project 3 doesn't work. So anyways, today we're gonna be starting day one of getting her Mexico ready. When you're down in Mexico, you're doing repeated runs. Three things matter most, traction, making sure your car is staying under good conditions like temperature and all that stuff and being able to visually monitor those conditions. Today we're gonna start with the gauges. Uh, let me show you guys what she has right now and let me show you guys what we'll be installing. Okay, so this is what the interior of the Mustang looks like right now. I do have some aftermarket gauges. Let me show you guys. So these gauges for the most part don't work. The tachometer doesn't work, fuel does, battery does, other ones do not work. No speedo, no nothing. We have three extra pods up here. We have a boost one and an oil temperature. Those two work. This is an air temp. I actually gave away the sensor when I sold my supercharger kit because it was already installed in that. So we don't have a sensor for that. That's an easy one. I just got to buy a sensor and then hook it up. What we have to fix is being able to see our speedo, coolant, stuff like that. So the way I thought that's best to do all that is to just get a digital display. You can see everything. You can customize it. And I wanted something that you guys can get to if you guys are in a similar situation or you just want to upgrade from some analog gauges like that to a nice digital display as long as you have an obd2 port this isn't a sponsored thing i did some research and i found one that i think is a sweet spot right in the middle there are some really expensive ones i don't think this one's going to be as nice as the ones i have in the supra and in the drift car but i think this one right here which is an edge what is it I've, i already forgot what did i order an edge insight three i think this will do just what i want it to do I do just want to mention once again that this is not sponsored. If this product does suck ass, and we're going to find out in a second if it does. If this product does suck ass, I will let you guys know. That way you guys can avoid buying it. I just need a digital display for the Mustang. And so this is what I ended up choosing. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what lays inside. How the fuck do I open this thing? Wow, it is a lot smaller than I thought, but that's actually kind of beneficial because... I already kind of know where I want to mount it. That is a lot smaller than I thought. It's honestly probably the same size as an iPhone, I want to say. Yeah, it's smaller than my iPhones. Okay, so I got it set up. I had to enter my VIN for some reason, but after a little bit of tinkering, I got it set up, and it seems to be working. It's reading my battery, my RPM. It looks like my coolant is right there, and then I have air temp as well. So I got a lot of stuff read out on here i just want to display speed obviously because that's controlled by something else unless this thing has gps speed which i don't think it has but as of right now i mean it seems to work i just got to figure out from my tuner what my rev limiter is set to because i have no idea i've never pulled that hard before so we're gonna find out i'm gonna set up a couple extra things in here go through some of the menus and see some of the cool things i could do Okay, so my initial thoughts of it are it's pretty nifty. It seems to do everything I wanted to do. What I have to do now is just find a place to mount it and finish setting it up because there are a couple of things I wanted to do that I can't figure out how to do it yet. Like I think there's a shift light feature on here somewhere. I gotta figure that out. So let me finish setting it up and then I will show you guys and we'll go for a spin. Okay, so like 30 minutes later and this is how it's looking. I went ahead and routed the wire. I cut a hole in the dash and then put one of these non-slip pads that I had laying around right there just to cover up the hole so it didn't look really nasty. Routed it, I completely took apart my cluster so I can route the cable nice and behind it. It goes underneath the dash and right here. I still have to tie off the cable because it's just dangling here, but besides that, so far, so good. I hope it's bright enough so it can stay right here. Uh, I think it is. It looks a lot brighter than most little displays that I've used in the past. So I think we're good. But let me go ahead and tidy everything up. I'll put the whole interior back together because it's all taken apart. And then we'll go for a cruise. Okay, everything looks buttoned up, but there's one last thing to do. Oh, that is nice. And it looks like a low glare screen, which is perfect too. That way I'm not getting, you know, the sun blinding me every time I drive. All right, so let me clean up my mess. I made a nice little mess right here. And then we'll hop into the Mustang Go Cruise. And I found out my red line is higher than I thought. So this car has a lot more than I originally thought. So <laughs> this is gonna be a whole lot of fun right now. Let's go.
honestly so far a surprise, okay? There's a couple things I don't like. I don't think it refreshes as quick as maybe a BTI gauge or some of the other high-end gauges, but for the price, a few hundred dollars, so far so good. Now when I get some more room, I'm gonna go ahead and downshift and I'll give her the beans, but uh, as of right now for cruising, really convenient. I can see my intake air temp, my coolant temperature, obviously RPM, mass airflow, battery, load percentage, all this bullshit that I couldn't see before, I can now see. I don't know how it looks on the GoPro, but in person it looks really clear and I'm happy with it. So let me go ahead and find an open stretch and give her the beans. Okay, I might have enough room right here. Maybe, I don't know. We're gonna give her the beans. One thing I want to mention is just how impressed I am with the display so far. It didn't fall. I mean, we're doing a lot of G-Force, I would imagine. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower, and that thing is staying solid in its place. Again, this isn't advertised, but so far, so good. So we're going to see tonight just how good it does. Anyways, I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, first night back in Mexico in the Mighty Mustang. I've been waiting for this moment a long time. We have my buddy Daryl's Camaro Z01 right here, full bolt on E85 camped, absolute monster with that A10 transmission. My buddy Brian's E85 full bolt on S550 Mustang GT. He has big plans for it, but he's working on his 2JZ mount at the moment. My Mustang, as you can see here, ready to rock on those beautiful ESR beadlocks. The tire setup couldn't be happier with it today. Absolute monster. And then we have a couple of the homies. We got the homies full bolt on e30 or e40 blend 335i and something my subscribers have been wanting me to race for quite some time now a big single turbo e blend or e85 335i thing puts out some pretty good numbers it uh honestly shows it it's a quick build so we'll have to see how it does going up against the mustang I threw in a couple races from last video into this one. They were all the way at the end. Most people probably didn't see them, so I tossed them in. We got a built Trans Am putting out around 1,000 horsepower, an RSV4 liter bike, and I think that's just about it. Let's get in the car and go down to Mexico. <laughs>
Anyways, guys, I didn't film an outro. I got back from Mexico pretty late. You know, it was a pretty long drive. That being said, I had a lot of fun. The Mustang performed well, and I have a super racing video in the works. So I hope you like racing content. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Let me know how fast you think that Mustang is. Maybe one day I'll tell people. Until then, stay tuned for more videos, and until next video, peace.